618 and a new study has found that items your children put in their mouths like pacifiers and sippy cups can carry more germs than a toilet seat. Megan Key is joining us this morning and Megan, what are some of the top items on this list and what should parents be looking out for because this is scary. It is Shiva and there's a lot of items you might not think about twice that made the list. TV remotes, diaper bags, plush toys, pacifiers, sippy cups and the number one germy item in the home is strollers. A new study found that all of these items are germier than the bathroom doorknob, toilet seat, and bathroom floor and countertop. Now that brings me to the local pediatrician, Michael Wasserman. And Michael, talk to me a little bit about how these germs are spread from items like this, you know, to the child and, and what sort of viruses. Well, good morning. First of all, bacteria, viruses, and fungi, they're everywhere. And they're really unavoidable. They're part of our environment. And we live in harmony most of the time with them but especially with young children who may not have been exposed to these various viruses, uh, bacteria, and, vi and fungi, they might, may not have developed the immunity. So how is it spread? There's really three ways. One is body fluids, which is really not a common thing. The second is touch. So if you touch the plush toy and then you bring it to your mouth, that's how the child's gonna bring the germs and introduce the germs into him or herself, into the mm -hmm. nasal passages, into the, into the mouth, and then the germs can then go uh, further from there and then uh, so, and then finally by respiratory spread by breathing that's not so much uh, relevant to these things which are uh, inanimate like strollers and such but when you touch something assume it's dirty some things are dirtier than others so it all comes down to hand washing hand washing and hand washing and keeping the child's hands away from the face mm -hmm. because the, the germs enter the body through the nose through the mouth so if you can teach your child to keep the hands away from the face easier said than done, then you're more <laughs> likely to be successful in keeping your child from becoming ill. What about cleaning uh, these toys, like throwing the bear in the washer machine or using disinfectant wipes? Well, certainly that those are good ideas and they work somewhat. Mm -hmm. They don't work fantastically. And of course, you're not going to sterilize the environment around you. <laughs> yeah. It's an impossibility. And in fact, it's really not something you want because you do want your child to be to develop a, a, a tolerance to these various uh, viruses and bacteria and such. So I wouldn't go overboard about this, especially in a child who has normal immunity and so forth, but it gets down to a number game. How big is the daycare you're in? How many strollers are you around? How many plush toys are you taking? Don't share sippy cups. Don't share foods. Don't share drinks. And the more you can limit that, the more likely you are to have your child be healthy and happy through the, as time passes. And I'm sure, of course, we always talk about washing our hands. How long is that recommended time that you keep the hot water, go warm water 10 going? 10 to 15 in? seconds at uh -huh. least. And, and, and you want to, it's not so much which soap you use. It's being a little bit rough because the mm -hmm. abrasion actually helps kill the germs, running the water the whole time, and that's going to be helpful. So don't worry about the quality of the soap. Just worry about doing it often. All right, all great facts, all great tips uh, for you to stay clean out there and also try to sanitize yourself and, and make sure that uh, you're staying healthy. So stick around because in the next hour, we're also going to go more in depth into this study and tell you some more about the items that are on the list.